All right, we're gonna try. Gonna do a couple stuff here. Forgot, of course, another rookie mistake. Forgot my memory card, so I gotta use the iPhone. But what I did was change the brakes. Got the brakes all done. Uh, the O-ring for this side was actually missing somehow, but we were able to replace that and I found the water leak. You guys won't be able to see, but hold on. The water leak was actually right where that neck part is down there and it was leaking from underneath. Uh, put some RTV there and hopefully that should be good. Filled up with some coolant and gonna bleed it. Also, we're gonna check how it is with the clutch because uh, we actually put a 240SX uh, clutch master cylinder on it. So hopefully that fixes that little sloppiness. Uh, well, not sloppiness, but that too easiness of a feel on the clutch. All right, right away, the clutch is so much better. And the brakes, like I actually have brakes, so I can actually stop. But the clutch is good on this, so that definitely fixed the issue. Um, like I said in the last, oh, I don't think I said in the last video, I think I replied to a couple comments, but it was actually, ended up being that the tire didn't have enough pressure on the left, the left side, left front side. And that was the issue why it was shaking. And so I had to take apart the barrel and the lip because it's leaking a little bit of air, three piece problems. So just driving it around here just to see how it is. These coilovers are actually kind of like really aggressive. They're kind of hard. But I think I gotta do something else for like the cooling system because this is over like 200 degrees, which is crazy. Shouldn't be at 200. This is clutch fan and everything, so. But clutch feels so much better. Hell yeah. Come in, come in, come in, come in. You got your own little sweater. All right, so we had to do a couple stuff, but if you guys can see, we got the little airbag cover. That was so expensive because I actually had to buy the whole uh, airbag assembly itself. Clutch feels good, brakes feel good on this. So the only other problem I was having was, like I said before, like on the inside part right there, you guys can probably see the antifreeze just dripping right there. Uh, I think the O-ring is actually messed up there. So I'm gonna have to actually take all that apart, but, before I take that apart, well, when I take that apart, we're gonna be switching the whole uh, radiator setup and clutch fan. Probably do a 7M clutch fan on it, since it's a little bit skinnier and actually pushes it back. I believe it's like three quarters of an inch, so so that'll help out a lot. But literally, that's the only thing that's uh, stopping this car from being pretty much perfect. Show you a quick little preview, because we've been doing like two videos at the same time where Kendrick's actually getting like the whole OEM gauge cluster to work. So it's gonna be having uh, the tech signal. So you'll have the tachometer, speedometer working, uh, gas gauge already works, and uh, water temp, but we're actually gonna keep the aftermarket water temp since it's more uh, legit and more spot on with uh, temperature reading. I figure I'd show you guys a little bit, show you a quick little glimpse, let me turn it on. What you doing, Sky? So I'm pretty hyped on that, that everything is pretty much gonna be OEM and will be probably the only write-up that we've seen, wanna go for a ride? That we've seen actually like fully detailed. Let's turn this on real quick. Oh, turn signal on, turn that off. You guys can see right away. That right there. Not gonna let it run a little bit just because like I said the antifreeze up front, but so there it is. Alright, turn that off. So yeah, after test driving it for a little bit, brakes were great, uh clutch is good since we switched out that um master cylinder for the clutch uh to a 241. So definitely do that rather than have the skyline, uh the R34 GT one. The only thing left is waiting, wait out the winter to fully die out so we could drive our cars again. Woo! What are we doing? 
we having like a VQ battle? Oh my God, who is this guy? Damn, Coca Cola, fresh sponsorship. Oh well, yeah. Hell know, you know, yeah. You like the flashlight on. What the hell hey. What's up? I Damn, I can feel the heat in there. Wait, 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 I got you, I got you. Hold on, I got you, boy. Damn, messed up. You said it's so dark out here. What's good, yo? Yo, racist. Uh, good, man? Racist, no black on black crime out here. <laughs> 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 All right, so you guys are doing a quick little poll. No uh, illegal racing here. You just leave it. It's already reported. It's already reported. Yeah. Still dripping here. Yep. Still dripping up top. But pretty easy fix. Just gotta fix that O ring on it. All right, you guys just saw Claude and uh, Brian did a little pull, but that's gonna be the rest for uh, this episode, guys. Stay tuned for next time. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. We're coming out with some new hoodies, uh, t-shirts for the springtime. But grab a slap sticker as well. See you guys.